Old school rally promises a return to the past and the era of rally games reminiscent of the first PlayStation. The creators position the title as the spiritual successor to Colin McRae, but how does it measure up? The game recently debuted in Steam's early access program, allowing players to race through 14 special stages spread across seven diverse countries. These include sunny Kenya, snowy Sweden, sandy Greece, and the less commonly featured Japan and China. The stages are very short, with most of them taking less than three minutes to complete, making the currently available content quite disappointing. A few short championships and time trials can be finished in about three hours. Fortunately, the stages themselves are well-designed and interesting. When it comes to vehicles, the situation is a bit better. There are 17 cars to unlock. The cars aren't licensed, but it's easy to recognize what they are modeled after. The creators have chosen some of the best from the golden era of rallying, featuring inspired versions of the Subaru Impreza, Mitsubishi Lancer, and Peugeot 206. Classics like the Mini Cooper and Renault Alpine are also included, though Elantia Stratos would have been a nice addition to the collection. The driving model left me somewhat disappointed. Unfortunately for the developers, I recently revisited the first two Colin McRae rally games, and the handling in old school rally simply doesn't compare to those classics. The controls are very arcade, like with minimal differences between vehicles or surfaces. Additionally, the braking and cornering felt unnatural. Vehicles lose a lot of speed and slide only modestly, making the driving feel somewhat robotic. Overall, it's not bad, but it could be much better. Another downside is the very average audio engine sounds are acceptable, but using the handbrake sounds like lightsaber duels from Star Wars. I also need to mention the absolutely dreadful and unusable cockpit view. The visual style, inspired by early PlayStation 1 graphics, has a lot of charm. Configuration options are limited besides resolution. You can only enable a CRT screen simulation mode. Other effects are currently forced and cannot be adjusted. There are no performance issues and old school rally runs at 90 frames per second, even on the Steam Deck. In summary, the game's debut left me somewhat disappointed. I see plenty of room for improvements and definitely want to see more content. Is around 9 USD a fair price at this stage? That's a question everyone must answer for themselves. I decided to keep old school rally with the hope that it will evolve into something bigger and better in the future. But that's always a gamble.